big shot, Eagle. Tyson Fury and Dillian White um, will box for the W. WBC and lineal heavyweight titles on April 23rd at Wembley Stadium and this will be the first uh, big UK boxing event heavyweight boxing event since Lennox Lewis versus Frank Bruno so this is like quite a big quite a big deal but meanwhile Tyson Fury's previous opponent Deontay Wilder has recently stated that he's considering going on a spiritual journey by taking ayahuasca which is a South African plant-based psychedelic brew which can cause you to hallucinate and potentially alter your thinking, sense of time and emotions. Wilder hopes this experience will help him reach a decision as to whether or not to continue or retire from boxing following his recent losses versus Tyson Fury. So, did Fury hit him too hard or is this a calculated decision that will help him in the long run. Just to give you a paint a picture, so he's just lost the trilogy versus Tyson Fury, and this is a guy who was on like a 40 win knockout streak, who's just been beaten like three times in a row, um, you could argue. And he's very demoralized now, and he's basically thinking of, should he quit, even though he's arguably still one of the best in the division and could probably well, still win a lot of What I fights. gotta say about it is, you said, is there other ways hmm. you can come to a conclusion? Well, yeah, one yeah. is to flip a coin, that's probably a better way than taking <laughs> some African brew. That's is that the motivation you need? Two, <laughs> he could, he could always start like, like lower again. He could always try and fight people who are like, like not as strong as Tyson Fury, not as good as Tyson Fury, and then get. Well, his that's what you'd have to do. That's what you'd have to do. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. He and then get his confidence back because there's no use being like. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. Yeah, there's no use being like, oh, I'm just gonna quit because this guy beat me three times. If you beat someone who's like a bit lower than you, you might be like, okay, I can do it, and then you might get, you might build yourself back up to be like, I'm gonna try it yeah. again. And then you know. I think there's there's got to be a fear there of just losing again to even someone with less skills than Tyson Fury because like he's bear in mind this guy has been like on the top. He's had the WBC I think it is belt for like years, right? And he he's defended it loads of times. Um, literally been knocking people out left, right, and center. And then to be so humiliatingly beaten like over and over again by the same guy, it's like you you know it, it's almost demoralizing because you've gone from being arguably the best to not even in the conversation of like <laughs> like the top two which is Uzik and Fury right now and it's like I don't know that, that must be hard to get your head around so maybe I don't know even if he does this um, even if he does ayahuasca which a lot of people do claim is very helpful and helps you see things from new perspectives and whatever disclaimer this will... not fireside podcasts for you that's Glenn's view <laughs> <laughs> This is, it's not even my view. I've never tried it, but like, uh, this is just what people say. Uh, some people. So this will either bring in peace or the motivation he needs for another run of knockouts, maybe. Because right now he's definitely not motivated. Or it'll mess up his brain in more ways than one, and he'll just All be that, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but I think his brain's kind of messed up already. But we don't. Yeah, being a boxer, <laughs> that's part of the job, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. This is a clip from the Fireside Podcast. Check out the full podcast link below. It's your boy, Big Shot Eagle. 